Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and have you ever wondered what's going to happen if you fly through interstellar dust cloud filled with these tiny particles that you can see on the screen right now? Or better, even what would happen to our planet Earth if one day our solar system entered one of these clouds? Well, let's talk about this and find out. Welcome to What The Math. So right now we're flying through space away from our beautiful planet and we're going to be entering the interstellar clouds in our galaxy that are basically practically everywhere. What are these clouds? Well, these are basically uh, particles that kind of accumulate into these really, really large objects containing things like hydrogen, helium, and uh, to some extent some other things like carbon, oxygen, and uh, nitrogen. These clouds are usually created uh, through supernova, but sometimes they've actually uh, created, well, basically they've been there forever from uh, the creation of the universe, but normally these will eventually accumulate and create stars. Now, right now I'm in Universe Nova Square, and I kind of created this miniature cloud here that sort of represents the interstellar cloud that one day our solar system will enter as well. The reason I'm talking about all of this is because there's actually quite a lot of theories out there that there's a big possibility for an extinction event occurring because of the interstellar cloud. I'm going to launch our sun just so you can actually uh, see it passing through this cloud right here in sort of real time. And so we're going to be flying through this cloud with maybe our Earth orbiting around the sun as well. Let's just place Earth at a distance of about one astronomical unit from the sun and so we're going to be flying through the system and as you can see our sun is actually kind of destroying the uh the cloud that i've created but that's not really the, uh what i'm going to talk about what i'm going to talk about is the possibility for this beautiful uh cloud to ooh, what is this i have actually just destroyed something creating a huge interstellar dust cloud particle anyway we're going to be talking about the possibility of this uh, particular event, when it actually happens, of causing some kind of a major extinction. So, as of now, we are usually associate extinction events with things like asteroids or comets crashing to our planet Earth, something similar to what you're about to see on the screen right now. And so there's going to be a few collisions happening, and so most people associate the extinction of dinosaurs and all of the other extinctions uh, with basically these catastrophic events that would destroy everything on our planet Earth. This would be a collision with a very large asteroid. Now, the thing is that uh, modern astronomers believe that there's so many things that could go wrong. And one of those things is associated with basically our solar system passing through one of these um, clouds. And let's actually open another simulation here where we actually have a galaxy represented it relatively well with uh, some clouds already in it. Now imagine our beautiful sun that is actually somewhere right there in the uh, on the outskirts of the galaxy uh, is basically flying through space here with the planet Earth orbiting around it. So I'm gonna see if my planet Earth is still around or if it disappeared. I think it actually disappeared. Let's slow down time a little bit and make Earth orbit around the sun just so you can actually see uh, what I'm talking about here. So as the sun flies through this galaxy and as the Earth orbits around it, at some point it might enter a galactic interstellar cloud. Basically um, a part of space where there's a lot of things, a lot of different gases, a lot of different things going on. In other words, the area between sun and Earth is going to become a little bit more um, populated, it's going to be a little bit more dusty. Now, we actually uh, get quite a lot of dust on Earth uh, to begin with. As a matter of fact, something like 40,000 tons of material on Earth every year comes from uh, passing through various dust clouds and various dust particles. Not just from asteroids, but just actual dust, uh, tiny, tiny particles of dust that um, are essentially everywhere in space. Because, you know, space is not actually that empty after all. But in a few millennia, or actually anywhere between next 20 to 50,000 years, we might actually pass through something a little bit more dense than that. As a matter of fact, it might be so dense that, or several thousand times denser than that what we currently have, that it might um, completely blot out the sun, or make the sun a lot more dim in, in the sky. We might not be able to see it that well anymore. Now, this dust might, on top of that, penetrate into the, our atmosphere, eating away at, uh, you know, some of the oxygen, some of the uh, protective layers that our planet currently has, and it might even blot out the solar wind from the sun, 
uh, which would then um, allow for more cosmic rays to enter into our solar system and thus cause a lot of really horrible things on our planet. There might be things like extinctions, there might be things like mutations, things might die, people might die, and things might become a lot colder. So, as of now, we don't actually know what caused the um, Ice Age events on our on our planet but it's very likely or it's very possible that maybe it's because our solar system and our sun pass through these clouds of various tiny molecules that are only about uh, 0.1 micromillimeters in size and basically these molecules would blot out the sun causing our solar system to become much darker and uh, our, our planet earth receiving a lot less light as well so this is kind of what it would look like so here's our solar system. Let's actually pretend we're passing through this dust cloud and we're going to actually create this dust cloud by doing the following. We're going to create a little rock right here in the middle called dust cloud and we're going to add a bunch of rings to it that will represent um, our spherically shaped actual dust cloud. So here we go. We're going to go into textures here, choose manual, make it maybe, I don't know, yellow or something so it's easier to see. Change the distance uh, or the radius of this um, dust cloud to about 1000 astronomical units, change its shape to a uh, sphere, and make it fill the sphere with these yellow particles that we're about to see everywhere. So let's zoom out a little bit, and th this should now have our dust cloud. You can kind of see there's particles right there, they're kind of difficult to see because I think I didn't do a good job with texturing, but let's try this again. Okay, so it seems that it's going to be really, really dark and really hard to see, but it's basically there. There it is. There's all these particles. You can kind of see they're yellow in color and they're going to be passing through our solar system uh, in, I guess, in a few years. I didn't really set the very high velocity here, very high speed. So this will at some point reach our solar system and go entirely through it. Uh, actually, some of it is already inside our solar system. As you can see, there's a lot of particles that have already reached it. And so now we're going to go to our beautiful planet Earth and uh, imagine what would actually occur here. So first thing that would very likely happen on Earth is that it would suddenly start receiving a lot less light from the sun. Now we don't really know by how much the actual luminosity of the sun would change, but it could go down up to about 90% of its current luminosity. So now the sun has been blotted out and Earth does not receive as much light anymore. Obviously, this will cause some climate change conditions. Let's see uh, by how much our climate changes, actually. Um, and uh, so what would happen here is, first of all, because of all the dust and because of all of the stuff in the air, um, we might, not in the air, sorry, but in, in the intersolar space, we might not actually um, receive that much energy from the sun anymore. Uh, the actual effects of the winters will be magnified and eventually our Earth might experience another ice age. On top of that, um, some of this gas actually will start um, changing the light that we do receive from the sun from uh, more energetic light, so from, uh, th for example, ultraviolet light into infrared light, which might actually decrease the temperature even more. So right now we're we've only lost about 0.5 degrees Celsius, but we're going to wait a little bit longer and see how low this will actually get. And I think if actually if I disable climate here, it will become a little bit more realistic. So right now you can see the temperature dropping to about 13 degrees Celsius and going lower and lower. And at some point, this might actually reach a very, very cold average temperature where our planet will slowly turn into an ice bowl. So I'm going to accelerate time just a little bit. You can see it, it's kind of waning out slowly, but it's already at 8, 7 degrees Celsius on average. And this means that even... Um, even a relatively small interstellar cloud might actually blot out or cover the sun. Oh, you can kind of see them now. Yay, look at that. Look at all these beautiful yellow particles everywhere. So even a smaller cloud will actually uh, affect the temperature or the energy we receive from the sun, changing our planet quite dramatically. So let's see what happens. And so at 5 degrees Celsius on average, you can kind of see that the majority of North America is covered entirely in ice, just like it was during the Ice Age. The North American and the European continent is once again connected, uh, so you can kind of traverse through it very, very easily. And this actually does resemble the actual Ice Age-like formations. So this, these would be ridiculously huge ice formations, um, maybe 5 to 6 kilometers high, where you, essentially this would be like a mountain, mountain of ice. 
and a lot of this ice is so heavy that it actually starts squeezing onto the surface of our planet, dramatically changing the shape of the actual ground underneath as well. And so as you can see, even now the temperature is actually still kind of decreasing, um, but it, this is actually looking really, really cool. So we're slowly getting into a colder and colder Earth because of the amount of light we're receiving. And this is about 90% of total um, luminosity of the sun that we're used to. And let's just run this for maybe a few years and see what will happen to our beautiful planet in the future. Now, basically, this is the idea, or this is, I guess, the scary thought that you have to live with now, knowing that not just the asteroids, but also interstellar clouds and the dust particles that we might enter sometime in the future, sometime in the next few thousand years, or maybe even earlier than that, might actually affect the climate on our planet as well. Now, it's very likely this will not happen in the next hundred years, but it's still possible. We know that currently we're, for some reason, are in a very, very, very low density um, part of the galaxy where there is not that much interstellar clouds. There is not that much dust either. But entering these dust clouds will definitely happen, and this will definitely change the temperature and the climate on our planet possibly quite dramatically. Now, we don't really know if this is actually what killed the dinosaurs, but the recent uh, 2016 um, hypothesis analyzed the formations of various iridium layers that have been actually found um, in, in different fossils and also just different uh, layers on our planet. And we've discovered that it's very likely or it's very possible that this iridium might have actually come not from an asteroid, but from dust, especially uh, basically things like uh, dust particles from dust clouds. So maybe this whole collision thing that we kind of think about uh, happened 65 million years ago didn't really do much. Maybe it was actually the fact that we also entered the dust cloud that basically killed off the dinosaurs and might one day kill off us as well, or at least some other creatures living in the future. So these dust clouds are something we need to be aware of, something we need to look out for, but obviously this is not something we can easily fix or resolve, even if it does happen, because how do you actually redirect billions and trillions and quadrillions of particles headed toward your solar system? I guess we'll just have to figure out how to make our sun brighter so that it doesn't actually turn our planet into this beautiful ice bowl that is going to become really soon, because the temperature is still dropping. And so the average temperature on our planet is now minus 10 degrees Celsius, it's dropping a lot lower than I even expected, and we now even have permanent snow uh, snow caps in South Africa, uh, Eastern Africa, Northern Africa, and basically the entire Europe, the entire North America, and huge parts of South America are covered in ice. This might become a, a nice planet after all. This might become what's known as a snowball. And this means that, for the most part, humanity is now going to struggle quite a lot. And anyway, so that's really all I wanted to kind of mention in this video. If you want to read more about uh, these uh, various theories and hypotheses, check out the links I posted in the description below. But for the most part, come back tomorrow, because you're going to learn something completely different and something very, very new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for coming. Don't forget to subscribe. Possibly share this video with people that enjoy watching educational videos using video games. And I'll see you later. And you know what? Maybe even consider supporting me on Patreon because it does help me purchase better equipment to make even better videos. I'll see you later. Space out. Bye bye. Let's accelerate time, make the planet super, super cold, and then smack an asteroid into it because you know what? This is what we do. We destroy Earth over and over. And this is practically an ice bowl. There's only a few places on Earth that still have liquid water, but even they will disappear very soon. How do we solve this? Of course, there's only one solution. We're going to take a very large rock, let's maybe take Cherry Claw, and launch it at our beautiful planet. Destruction at its best. And look at that, the entire planet melted instantly. This is so beautiful. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.